Rakesh Shukla. Uh, this is yet another update from the Voice of Stray Dogs um, Sanctuary and Hospital. Uh, this is day 14 of the lockdown. I hope you guys are all safe, holding up. Uh, we are. I've been here now for the better part of uh, four weeks. Um, and this is a quick update on what, um, the, which summarizes the water situation and what we're going to do. Uh, uh, first of all, thanks a lot everybody who's contributed so much and made sure that we've uh, been able to go through this time. The lockdown caught everybody unawares, uh, definitely uh, caught us unawares. And um, the logistics to be able to manage uh, things three, four times the price, um, you know, 70, 80 kilometers away from the city was just, mm, just a little bit overwhelming. But with your support, we've been able to come through. Our water's coming on time right now. Um, but that doesn't mean the water situation is over for us, uh, for the simple reason that the bore wells that we uh, poured, uh, we went, uh, the water table has receded uh, 200 uh, feet from when we started for five years back. And now we are 400 feet um, below that level. But we know that uh, there's really not much water below where I'm standing. So we're going to do a few things, uh, the details of which are in the, um, in the uh, text that accompanies this video. Uh, but you will be able to see um, that we are going to actually rewire a lot of the farm to make sure that we collect as much of the roof water as we can. Uh, basically, the plan is um, that we will have to run on water that comes from um, under the ground for maybe six months, but we can't really store that water. There's not that much water below us. And we will extensively rewire the, the farm to be able to collect uh, rainwater, not only from the runoff, but from the roof water. And to do that, um, and to store it and to use it, uh, we're going to make, we had one tank which is five days away from completion as soon as the lockdown gets over. Um, and when that happens, we are going to um, uh, get to the underground sum number two. So um, the plan is to uh, store the first underground storage is only five days away from getting completed. As soon as the lockdown stops, um, we reopen, we're going to take another five days to complete that. That will give us uh, one and a half lakh liters of uh, storage uh, for rainwater that comes from the gutters, like I was saying before. Uh, we have planned for another storage, which is uh, five lakh liters, which is much deeper, smaller, but much deeper. Um, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, I've, I've shown you in an earlier video. That storage is going to come right next to the uh, to the bore wells right now, right between them, as a matter of fact, um, uh, which is the which is the smaller recharge pond. We figured that the the better there's a better way to make recharge ponds, which is actually much deeper and much narrower. So five to six of those recharge ponds are going to come up as well. And um, the other big thing that we're going to change this reconfiguration of the farm. This is the like the west end of the farm, and you can see behind me is the big pool which was the first, the first pool that we built, the big uh, water storage pool. Uh, it's uh, more than 100 feet wide, 75, 100 feet long, more than 70 feet wide, 10 feet deep. Um, we are actually going to fill the, you can see behind me, some construction's already started. There's going to be a wall and you know we're going to occupy and refill some parts of the pool. But right in the middle where my finger is, that's where a large, much deeper. So the excavator actually can go down from where I am. You can see this part that is broken. Uh, we're going to take the excavator inside, uh, dig it another 15 feet, and make a watertight pool. Right now, most of the water just evaporates, or um, you know, it seeps through, but it doesn't go to our bore well. Uh, the slope for the water above the ground uh, and the water below the ground, above the ground, you can see behind me the men are working cleaning the the one of the uh, the wells, and the, the slope is actually from there to here. So there to here. So. Uh, we are able to store this water, but we are not able to use much of this water for the simple reason that um, most of the water evaporates and the water that goes into the, into the soil actually goes, uh, goes westwards, not and the bore wells are to the east of it. So um, we are going to actually make a water, we are going to retain all this water and pump all this water from a deeper well back to our underground wells. So that's the plan for now. Um, thanks for listening and supporting us as always. It makes a great deal of difference to us that you are there and that you've supported us in whatever we've done so far. Thanks for believing in us. This, uh, this project, the VOSD Sanctuary and Hospital, would have not been possible without you. I've toiled for about five years just doing it myself, 
Uh, but in the last one and a half years, the stupendous uh, support that I've received has allowed us to expand, create a world-class facility. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's nothing like it, like what we have anywhere in the country. Um, we are very proud of it. The dogs, it makes the dogs very happy. Their lives much more comfortable. They come from all parts of the country in a really bad state, but they come to a place which is safe for them, uh, which has all the distractions, which has all the nutrition, all the, all the medical care. Um, we have uh, all the vehicles that we need at this time. We have a great hospital. So thanks everything again. Um, thanks for everything again. Thank you so much.